Here I am at it again, and this time I got another piece of software that I found today uh, when I got home from work that really tripped my trigger. I was uh, surfing around the Arch user repository today, and I found this handy little gem, and this is called Tonelib GFX. I've got to say, from what I have done with this software, uh, this is absolutely amazing. I love the layout of this, and it is easily an excellent uh, alternative to Guitarix or Rack Rack that I previously looked at on Cup of Linux. All right, now what's interesting about this software is, and I'll have a link in the description below where you can get it. You can download a DEB package, so if you're running a Ubuntu-based distribution or Debian-based distribution, distribution, you should uh, be able to uh, install it just fine. And of course, it builds easily from the AUR. This software has a 30-day uh, trial period. And I've read some places online that even past the 30 days, you could still continue using it. But in the amount of time that I've had a chance to look at this software today, this is easily worth the money and I want to get this. So, I really love this. This is awesome software, and this is something that I will be able to use. Now, uh, I have this connected through Jack. All right, here you can see I have uh, my graphs set up here. Uh, this is using uh, this Juice Jack here, and I have some lines out to OBS, and then I also have it uh, to the system so that I can monitor the sound as uh, audio is playing live. Um, very intuitive the way this is set up though. You have uh, several different options uh, for setting this up. Uh, you can uh, pretty much uh, configure, configure your general preferences uh, that you have here and your audio settings. MIDI preferences if you choose to use them. You can even define your own shortcut keys, backup and restore options, and then of course help. What really sold me on this is I love guitar effects processors that I really don't have to go through a whole bunch of trouble uh, setting up. And I really like how this is set up here. Uh, you have all of your effects in a chain here, okay? All right, and then each item you can select individually and then you can turn the knobs and configure them exactly how you want, which I think is really cool, okay? All right, and uh, you can then um, change them. I love the noise reduction on here, which is really good. And you have a number of effects that are available here as well. Uh, different filters that you can have. Noise reduction, equalizing, and that sort of thing. There is even an acoustic simulator on this that my uh, Valatin pedal also has. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet, um, but I'm going to uh, play with this to see uh, if this will do the trick because I'm telling you what, this would be a perfect piece of software to have on that uh, spare uh, laptop I'm picking up off of eBay uh, just for using as a guitar effects processor. So um, pretty awesome, but it's got a huge range of uh, effects and I think there's even a special on this software you can uh, pick it up uh, now for under 50 bucks so uh, that's a pretty good deal but uh, so let's go ahead and um, check out some impulses you have um, an un looks like you have 99 impulses that you can load into this okay and in my previous video in this series I have a link where you can find some plenty of free uh, impulses that you can load into this so that you can get some interesting cabinet sounds added to this uh, another really neat feature uh, that this has let me go ahead and close this here is you can audition some of the uh, presets and there are a number of really cool presets with this and all you simply have to do is just record um, a, a, a part from your guitar and then you can listen to what these sound like I've already done that so let me um, let me uh, shut this off and then let's go to the very beginning here and uh, we'll start with crystal clean uh, we'll discard those changes that I made there. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, play this back and see what it sounds like. OK, 
Okay, that's the crystal clean. Now we're doing blues. So you can audition the sounds without having to pick up your guitar and play. And while you have an audio clip playing, you can actually tweak the sounds. So it, it, this is amazing. I've never seen any other, uh, uh, you know, a Linux software offer this. So this is really cool stuff. Want that bridge crunch sound? Pretty neat there. Uh, the only caveat I see here is it doesn't give you the ability to loop, but maybe there is. Hold on. There's I see a little scroll bar here. No. Uh, no looping capability, uh, but that's okay. I can just, you know, record a longer sample if I need it. Some of these effects I grabbed off uh, from the um, online resource as well. I'd never listened to that one, so I gotta check that one out again. All right, let's play that. All right, pretty cool. Uh, but, uh, what you can do with this also is you can open up a free account and then you can go and uh, select some online presets and they have tons of them. You could spend all day going through their uh, presets. Um, maybe we can even sort these by likes, can we? Ah, we can. All right, so you can click these and you can sort by author, comments, modification dates, and that sort of thing. Let's uh, check out this chorus clean tone here and see what we get. Uh, where did I put my pick? All right, here we go. That is a beautiful sound, and I can see why that has so many likes. So, uh, awesome stuff indeed. So, um, yeah, uh, you can get some other really good sounds here, too. This is the Metallica sound. Of course, I'm not playing any Metallica. <laughs> Because I don't want copyright strikes, but um, you got plenty of sounds here to start with, and then you can just go in here and modify these to your liking. <laughs> cool stuff indeed. All right, we'll go back into the local. I mean, I could spend all day on this stuff here. Okay, you have a looper here, so you can uh, record a track and then jam out with yourself here. Uh, I haven't had a chance to uh, play with the rhythm player yet. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a metronome. Ideal if you're practicing scales and that sort of thing, and you're looking to become a precision uh, guitar player. Okay, and uh, I prefer that metronome sound. Let's stop this, and then uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh. Now this is wicked. I love the sound. It's amazing here.
cool stuff. I like that. You know, and I didn't even look at this part before filming, so you're experiencing this the same time as I am. So, uh, all I did was just jam out with all the really cool effects that this has on here. Okay, let's see what the metal one has here. You have some choices for grooves here, so let's see what we've got here. Okay, color me impressed. All right, so yeah. Um, well, it's a good thing I decided to put the camera on and experience this the same time you guys are. So, okay, backing tracks. Okay, it doesn't look like this came with anything, um, but that's okay. There are plenty of um, uh, tutorials online for guitarists that provide backing tracks, and then you would be able to open it with this software and then jam out with it. Uh, and I have lots of them, but uh, because they could be copyrighted material, obviously I'm not going to play them. All right, uh, let's see. The Ideas Recorder. Okay. All right, so this has a built-in recording. Uh, you can define where you want your recordings to go. And uh, you can start rhythm playback, that sort of thing. And what happens when it finishes. Okay, this is something I'll have to figure out uh, down the line. And then, of course... The loop station, for those of you uh, who enjoy uh, using looping. I've never really gotten good at that, uh, where I would uh, record a little sample and then just uh, start playing lead over it and that sort of thing. That's really not the kind of style, and one of these days I eventually will learn how to do something like that, but it's good that it's there. Um, gosh, color me impressed. Um, this looks really, really cool. It also has a built-in guitar tuner as well. Uh, I tested this earlier, but it crashed on me. Cool stuff indeed. I'll tell you what, uh, yeah, this is definitely worth an investment on my part. But uh, like uh, I said in the beginning, they stated on the website this has a 30-day unlimited trial. You can try all of the features uh, that are included with this. It's not crippled in any way for 30 days. And uh, so I'm going to experiment with it some more. But I, I definitely think this is going to be something well worth uh, adding to my musical arsenal. Love the sounds that you can get with this thing. I love some of the built-in ones as well. Very nice stuff. All right, and I'm going to need to figure out how to uh, increase the gain on some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, my effects pedal with the acoustic simulation that it has, um, when I smack the strings, you can you can, it, it, it sounds like you're hitting the guitar body. I'm not hearing it on this one. When I do a, a, a demonstration, uh, uh, eventually, like I said, I was going to do a, a demonstration of my Valentin pedal, and uh, I'll show uh, the acoustic simulator that has, and it's amazing because this guitar, this this uh, Jackson sounds just like an acoustic guitar on that one. Um, but let's look some at some. Um, see what we got here. Let's try the arpeggio. Hmm. Add some resonance to that and see if. Uh... Not quite there. I'll have to play with that some and see what we can get out of this. The clean sound is amazing though. I like that. Um. Like I said, I still have some things I need to do. I have to... Ah, here we go. Hear that background noise? Well, we can clean that up a little bit. Maybe give it a... Maybe give it a little bit more sensitivity. There you go, that background noise is gone. But it does come back when you're playing, and that's that's pretty much like a uh, threshold uh, unit that this is using, or a noise gate. All right, my friends, that's all I've got for now. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to go next here on uh, this uh, Guitars and Linux mini-series. Uh, but, um, I'm sure uh, at some point I'm going to be covering a tablature and notation software. I'm still going to be doing the uh, Valentin GP100, the full review of that. And, uh, I need some of your ideas too. What kind of software, uh, for gar guitarists would you like to see on here for Linux? Um, I'll, uh, download it, try it out, and, uh, see if I can break it pull all the knobs and that sort of thing. Uh, Alright, I don't know what else to say other than a little bit of love goes a very long way. So please be sure to take some of your time and be excellent with somebody today. Until next time, my friends, peace out. Mm -hmm.